Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we are going to learn a new operator which is take. What does take do? What are the different use cases? How can you use it in your real time Angular applications? And much more we will learn in this particular episode. Let's get started. This is part 11 of the RxJS complete tutorial playlist. Make sure that you please subscribe subscribe to my channel and also please do like my videos to keep supporting and encouraging me. I'm planning close to 30-40 tutorials in this series so make sure that you check out and subscribe so you get notifications as soon as I post them. Today we are learning operator number 6 which is take and this is kind of a continuation to what we did in last episode so make sure that you check out that as well. Today we are learning about take operator. So what is take operator? So whenever See, for example, you will have use cases where you want to take only two values, not anything after that you want to ignore, right? So this is a good a classic example that take only first two values, right? How do you do that? So we will say take two, that means take two values, right? So that's a good classic example that you can say or while searching, you can say take only till 10 um, characters, after that don't take. That's another use case that you can think of. So let's get started and do some hands-on to learn different use cases, okay? But the overall principle is take will tell you how many values that you can accept. So in this case, if you say take two, it will take only two values. Let's see that in hands-on examples. Somebody told me in the comment section that I'm always in a hurry to do hands-on and less in theory. <laughs> so yeah, I like it that way. So. All right, so, so far uh, the example that we did in the last uh, episode, if you remember, was we gave some value and if you see it after a certain time, it will give the value, okay? That is, we added the debounce time. Now I'm going to say, in this, I'm going to say take any two values and whenever you're defining multiple operators, you need to write comma in the, in the pipe, okay? So let's import this from RxJS operators. So if you see, it imported debounce time and take from RxJS operators. So here we are saying take two values. Take only two values. Okay. Debounce time means time lag before it emits next value. Okay. That's what debounce time means take means t take n number of values basically right so here you can give 2 3 5 10 whatever that's the number of values that you wanted to take okay so let's see here i'm going to delete this and i'm going to type 1 so after 3 seconds it will give 1 now i'm typing 2 it gave 2 3 will it give 3 no why because it will be told that take only two values. Now let's make it five and reload. One, two, three, four, five, seven. No matter how much you enter, it will not take. So here if you see, it will stop, it will not do any operation after it has reached our condition of take n number. In this case it is 5. So here we are saying that search, you can only take 5 values, not more than that, right? Now you can do this with a array operator also. Like for example, if you have an array and you are going to pass that array of using off operator which we did in the first example, you can do that and say still you can use the same logic which is take one, two, five, whatever it is. So what is the underlining principle? The principle is whenever you want to restrict the user to enter a certain, it cannot enter beyond certain value, right? So that is take only n number of values. It can be from an array, it can be from a value change, from form or from data that is coming from API, can be anything. I hope it's clear because the next operator is something similar but it says take while. It's an extension to what take does. So stay tuned for that. Very easy next couple of episodes and operators are very very dependent so you can learn fast. 
okay i'm trying to keep it simple take this example start doing some hands-ons with me so you can learn and master real time okay as as usual i'll when welcome your doubts and queries in the comment section please do that thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode we'll extend the same example with take while operator okay please do subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me thank you again